Defense Electronics and Research Laboratory is a laboratory of the Defense Research and Development Organization Located in Hyderabad, it is actively involved in the design and development of integrated electronic warfare systems for the Indian Armed Forces. History DLRL was established in 1961 under DRDO, in order to meet the needs and requirements of electronic warfare systems for the Indian Armed Forces, including communication and radar systems. These functions were later handed over to specialized laboratories. Communication cipher equipment, developed by DLRL, was successfully deployed in the 1965 war with Pakistan. DLRL was included on the list of Indian entities that were subjected to U.S. sanctions announced after the May 1998 nuclear tests. The testing and evaluation of U systems demand huge infrastructure, test and evaluation facilities. To cater to this requirement, ELSEC, an extension of DLRL, was established in 1998 on a 180-acre campus. U system simulation and modeling facilities are located inside ELSEC to carry out simulation of complex systems. Topic areas of work DLRL has been entrusted with the primary responsibility of design and development of state-of-the-art electronic warfare systems COMINT, ELINT, ESM, ECM, covering radar and communication frequency bands. It also conducts systems integration and evaluation of these technologies on various platforms, like aircraft, ships, helicopters, vehicles, etc. Additionally, DLRL also conducts specialized training courses in electronic warfare and technology management for DRDO scientists and officers of the Indian Armed Forces. Currently DLRL is involved in the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program IGMDP, providing ground electronic support for IGMDP, and expertise in the design and development of various components, antennas and sub-systems for HF to microwave and millimetric wave frequencies. Topic facilities DLRL has various design, manufacture and testing facilities, mechanical CAD, CHI, CAM facility, for design, packaging and manufacture of electronic systems and LRUs. Mechanical fabrication facility, thermal and structural analysis facilities are also available in this center. Hybrid microelectronics facility, for fabrication of microwave integrated circuits for specific applications. Both thin film and thick film hybrids are also fabricated for in-house use. ASIC design workstations and echoic chamber and open test ranges, for testing different types of antennas and radomes covering microwave and millimetric wave frequencies. Automation Test and Measurement Laboratory – This facility caters to the fine-grain analysis and parametric evaluation of various RF components, devices, subsystems, systems of U-suites covering a frequency range of 10 MHz to 40 GHz. EMI – EMC Test Laboratory – This lab tests components and subsystems to testing in the frequency range of 30 Hz to 40 GHz for emission testing and 30 Hz to 18 GHz for susceptibility testing. Environmental Test Laboratory – This facility consists of environmental chambers, bump and vibrations test setups and is used for performing environmental tests on different electronic subsystems and systems. PCB Design and Fabrication Facility – The facility caters to the in-house requirement of double and multi-layer PCBs. The fabrication facility is capable of handling up to 12 layers with RF microwave CHI-CAD. <laughs> Projects and products In close coordination with various production agencies, other DRDO, national laboratories and academic institutions, DLRL has designed, developed and produced a large number of ruggedized electronic warfare systems. 
These systems have been inducted into the services after rigorous field evaluation and user testing. <laughs> X – Directors V – Narayana Rao E – Bhagiratha Rao K – Swaminathan K – Ragunathan K – K – Srivastava N – Dewaka G – Kumaraswami Rao Dr. R – Srihari Rao G – Bhupathi S. P. Dash Dr. C. G. Balaji Topic X Scientists G. Kant Tire A. Rama Rao, first officer of DLRL DMSRVURTHY